Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'm back with another Pokemon Pirate video in this one. <laughs> well, actually I was traveling back to a couple of places and I came here and uh, in Salalan City and got through this, uh, let me show you, the cut, the place where we required cut. I fought these two guys and then I come here and they all then went inside this house. And then I talked to a girl and she gave me another HM and that's HM is fly. So now it's time to teach one of my Pokemon fly. So Chari and Speedy can learn that. But Chari has a good move set while Speedy has a few moves that I might want to replace in future. So yup, one of them is about to go now. So let's see. Fly is a 70 attack while Gus is just 6. 40 and Pingadag is 60, so I'm gonna replace Gust with Fly. So now Pidgeotto has learned Fly, so now we will be able to easily transport between the previous locations that we have visited. So it's gonna be a lot more easier now, and it's going to be awesome. Just gonna show you a little example of it, and let's fly back to a location where I might have. I, I'm actually going back every place and fighting every single trainer that my, I have trespassed in the past. So, yep. Just doing that. We cannot go there. We can't go there. Already defeated all trainers in this area. We can go Vermilion City as well. We can also go... So, I think that's all for this episode. I mean, for right now, because this video is actually before I actually start recording the next episode. Which you'll see just after this little clip ends. So, yes, I think so. I'm gonna go back to a place where I can actually uh, train a little bit on my Pokemon. I can train them a little bit. Okay, so where do I wanna go? I wanna go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's go to Rudin City. I don't know why. No. I don't. I have no idea where I wanna go. Let's go to Saffron City. Just for the sake of showing it. And here we go, we are on Saffron City and that's the power of fly. So I think that's the end for this clip and I'll see you guys right after this one when I start recording the actual episode. See ya. Hey how's it going guys, today I'm back with another Pokemon Pirate video and this one we are going to uh, battle Sabrina uh, in the gym. So in the last episode we defeated the fighting Jojo Masters. And we got ourselves a little bit fun chat. Um, he's resting in the PC. I might bring him out. I have no idea do I want to bring him out or not. But so I got them. And now in this episode, up in the behind the scenes, I actually trade my Pokemon up a little bit. Uh, Lapras is now on par with the whole team. Lapras is like, I don't know, a lot of levels. So, you guys might be wondering why I'm just jumping like that, because uh, it's because I know there's some sort of a way through all of this. Um, I remember I did one of this, I was just being crazy and I just kept on doing like this. And I eventually went up to Sabrina and that's the same here. And I'm gonna battle her right now. So, hopefully I do not have Lapras in the front. Oh, okay, what the hell, let's just have Lapras in the front. I think Lapras is in the front. I like Sabrina's sprite actually. She kind of looks good. But I have Kadabra versus Lapras. Gonna go with Ice Beam. Yep, I thought. Uh, I mean, I didn't thought it. It learned naturally. Uh, Ice Beam. I didn't have to go and buy the TM for it. Because Lapras can learn it naturally. Like Pikachu can learn Thunder. As he gets older, of course. He's gonna use the Reflect, okay. Lepers used Ice Beam. That's not gonna do much, I think so, but that can froze him. But that did not, I'm gonna go with Body Slam. And she's gonna go with Hyper Potion. Not good, not good. And we're gonna use a Body Slam now. That's gonna do a lot. I actually should have gone Body Slam from the beginning. Okay, we got Poison as well. I'm in paralyzed as well, that's not. That ain't good. Get up, I can't move. Um, yep, we, we can move, we can move, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna go with Ice Beam now. Don't wanna waste all of my, you know, 
BT or Labras and just one attack. I don't know what it is. Oh, I mean, just on Kidabra. That's a critical hit. Kidabra is down. Labras is powerless, so I will um, change her now. Labras good level 35. I actually got on and caught uh, an Abra, two Abras actually, and then I went back to Douglas Cape and transport one Abra, uh, um, I mean, uh, uh, what to say, exchange, created an Abra for Mr. Mime, which was right on uh, route somewhere near Brooding Forest. Uh, so I got a Mr. Mime, he's also in the PC right now. And I also got cut, you might have saw that in the uh, the other video that I just posted. The video which was just in the beginning of this episode. I guess, I think I might have quit it. Yep, I hope that I quit it. Okay, we missed our attack, it's gonna use... She's gonna use... Okay, that did a lot. Damn this. Okay, I'm gonna go speedy now. Speedy knows fly now. So it's gonna be a lot more easier for us to travel to all the to the locations. Locations that we have already traveled. Now I'm gonna go with fly. He's gonna use Sylene. He was faster than us, that's why he was able to do it. Or else we would have been even better. Now I don't know what I'm gonna go with Prime up next. I don't know why I brought him out, I guess cause he's one of the people that him. And battle them. I'm gonna go with two swipes because your guys' swipes can attack more than once. Twice, twice, more, 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 four times, one more, one more, one more, five times. Yep, Primate got only five times. It can, and even if it, he dies on this attack, I will just ignore that fact because he's actually weak against Psychic type. And even though he did so much damage to uh, that Mr. Mine, it's, it's, it's impressive. I'm gonna go with Lapras out. I know sh he's, you see, paralyzed, sort of, but I'm gonna go with Ice Beam. He's gonna use Side Beam that sh might kill Lapras. Nope, that will not. Lapras cannot move, but okay, that's not good. I'm, sh I'm gonna go with Parish Song. It's a suicide, I know. It's a suicide. I'm, I'm still doing good. Lucky Duckies are also there. Lapras is confused. Oh shit. Oh shit. It hurt him so much. Okay. Okay. Not good. Not good. I'm gonna go with Body Slam. It's kind of idiotic for me. I know. Oh yeah, but hey. Lapras is down. Lapras is down. Lapras is down. Lepers use Body Slam. Wow. Lepers came through all of that. Lepers came through all of that. Nice. We are happy to you now. Two of our Pokemon are dead. Our next Pokemon is gonna be a Venomoth. I'm gonna chain my Pokemon again with Chari. The Chari can just burn that flying monster. Venomoth is a both type, right? Does Venomoth has a secondary type? I don't know. I'm gonna show her about that. That's gonna be super effective. Venomoth is, I'm pretty sure, it's a one hit kill. One hit kill. One Pokemon left, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be an Alakazam. And I'm already ready for it. I'm gonna change my Pokemon to Nido King now. Yep, cause I'm hoping to poison it cause she is gonna use super potions and hyper potions and all of that shit on Alakazam. So yes, I want to use a poison him. I'm gonna use poison thing. He's gonna use Psychic. Hopefully he gets poisoned after because of this. Damn, 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 that was a lot. That was a lot. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. And he did not get poison. I'm gonna go with Chari next. I should have gone with Lapras and revived the one Pokemon, but I don't know. I'm gonna go with Flamethrower again. That should do a lot. Flamethrower is a pretty strong move. Oh, that literally brought Alakazam down. Okay, if she does not use a flying to I mean a fire to a heal out. Yep, she's gonna use a hyper potion. Never mind, I'm gonna use a flamethrower again. A hyper potion, flamethrower, that's gonna bring it down yet again to very low health. Oh, his defenses rose up, that's not good. I'm gonna use flamethrower yet again. That should bring it down. Red, red spot, yep. He's gonna use combine now. I think she's gonna go with a hyper potion yet again. 
I don't know what I want to go with. I don't know. I think I'm going with Mega Punch. Yep, they did it. Damn, they did it. Alakazam is now. We defeated Sabrina in her gym. In her own gym. And now, I think that's all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give a big thumbs up. And we got a marsh badge. Uh, comment down below your feedback and share this video with people you think may like this kind of video. Click the subscribe button to always get notified. I mean, click the subscribe button to get more videos like this. And hit the bell icon to always get notified when I upload new videos. And let's just get out now. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much to avoid that problem. Please, wait, please take this TM with you. She's gonna give us TM4. And the team 4 is psychic power isn't something that only a few people have. Everyone has psychic power, people just don't realize it. Yeah, that might be true actually in real life as well. So I guess that's all for this episode. And if you liked it, we should I oh I just say that. Um and I'll see you guys in the next episode, I think so. In the next episode, we are actually going to go through the cycling road, I think so. I'll actually go through one of the roads, I think so I'm gonna go with Cycling Road, and on the other road, on the other uh, route to Fuchsia City, I'll actually just do that in behind the scenes. Because why to waste so much time on you? So, yep, I'm gonna go with Cycling Road because damn, Cycling Road is actually more popular than the other one. So, yes, and we are gonna get. We're gonna fight the two giants in the next episode as well. So, hopefully, we'll catch them. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you. Peace. Peace out.